What's up everybody, this is G Sticks from Control Media coming at you with some new Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay. Uh, this is gonna be just sort of like a review and um, comparison to the old Assassin's Creeds. I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of the series. So I have my uh, criticisms, but I do like the game. Uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll try to keep it entertaining. Um, so I have some topics to lined up to talk about. The first of which is free running. <clears throat> this is the first installment of Assassin's Creed in the next gen. Um, in the next gen world. And I was expecting like flawless free running. Just like so much fun and like fluid and uh, <clears throat> like really good. Uh, but unfortunately it's sort of glitchy and at times it can look a little like unnatural i mean obviously anybody that runs like this is <laughs> it's gonna be like unnatural looking but um it's there's been a lot of reviews that have come out saying that there's some problems with like the glitch factor in this game and it's pretty noticeable uh which sucks but you know that happens I'm gonna fight these guys just because they're annoying. They're all fighting each other. Oh, these guys are helping me out. Nice. Um, so the free running, it's they added some cool things to it. Uh They added uh, this one aspect called Control Descent, which is really useful and it's cool looking. I like it a lot because in the old games, in order to like get off a building, you would just have to find like a lower ledge or rooftop and jump off that. But now you have this Control Descent thing where you just like leap from one thing to the next and he goes down like very simply by like pivoting and letting go. It's cool. I like it. And kudos to Ubisoft for thinking of that because it makes the uh, the free running a little more enjoyable. Um, but again, that, that glitch factor comes into play. If I'll try to point it out if any of it happens, but it's definitely noticeable and somewhat frequent. So that's probably my main criticism. There's also been a lot of reviews that have been saying that uh, <clears throat> this game... If they've uh, there's been some like frame rate issues kind of like laggy and slow unfortunately for me I haven't had any problem like that yet but I understand that's like a prevalent issue and that sucks but uh, yeah I just figured I'd bring that up um, oh hey a cat I've never seen a cat in Assassin's Creed I'm gonna walk on it What a cute little thing. Okay, um, so another topic I want to talk about is the fighting. I'm going to see if I can get in a fight here. A bigger one. Yeah, there should be some guys around here. Um, I want to talk about the fighting because I just got done playing uh, <laughs> Shadow of Mordor, and there's a lot of fighting in that game. Obviously, you're just like slaying orcs. And I actually did a review for that game as well, if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but the fighting is kind of annoying. It's difficult, which is, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, uh, <clears throat> when, when the fighting in games is hard, it makes it more challenging and that much more like satisfying when you do end up killing a bu bunch of guys, but it's, it's sort of, I don't know, it's choppy and it's not very fluid and it. And I don't see very, like, very much diverse fighting and, like, finishers and critical hits in this game. Like Shadow of Mordor had, which kept the fighting very fun. So whenever I have to fight in this game, uh, it's sort of... It's hard to tell. Alright, that was a cool finisher. I like that one. <laughs> But um, if you guys get this game and you play it enough, you'll see what I'm talking about. When you have to take on a lot of guys, you're most likely going to die unless you make sure you have like a nice sword 
and uh, you master the parrying. Uh, and a little tip, make sure you parry when the line above your enemy's head goes gold. That's when you can like counter really well. Um, so that's what I had to say about the um, the fighting. It's still obviously fun. Assassin's Creed, like, it reminds me of like the Batman series or or Shadow of Mordor or anything like that, where you uh, where it's like third person and you have to take on a lot of guys, <laughs> and that's fun. Um, all right, so moving on to the story. I want to mention that the story is. It's good, but it's a little dull. Like, first of all, there's some pretty inexplicable, like, character changes. Like, he goes from this, uh, sort of, like, suave and charming and, like, cheeky character at the beginning of the game before he becomes an assassin. Here, I'll do this. I am the Chevalier Dayon. Master swordsman, diplomat, and sometimes spy. Do not be confused by my attire. I simply prefer to clothe myself in female garb. It is this is a dude I'm talking to? You are an assassin. I'm hoping you can help me, but first, I'd like to ensure that you're the man for the job. There are several swordsmen who will test your acumen. Challenge each of them and draw first blood. And watch, you don't step on my dress. I can do that. Where do I fight these guys? Oh, okay. All right, so this story, uh, it's pretty interesting. It's like in the French Revolution, which is really cool. Um, but of course, my friend, the duel it is. I'll serve as a second to This guy just like wants to duel me. Let's go, boy. What? I would have definitely murdered that guy. Um, now I'm moving on to the next guy. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about the story other than that it's, like, necessary. And it's pretty fun. I like the French aspect to it, you know. In every Assassin's Creed game, the primary language is English. And then they, like, riddle in some of the, uh... Some of the ge geographic language that the game takes place in. <laughs> So that's pretty fun. Uh, I also wanted to talk about the graphics. Oh All these guys just like want to fight me. How amusing! No. This man will judge the hits. I have an appointment presently, but this shan't take much time. This is my patriotic Let's go, duty. boy. Uh, you're not up to snuff. What? He gets one hit on me, and the thing is done. Oh, that's lame. Well, now what? Do I fight him again? Or do I have to start the mission again? Oh, that's so lame. Whatever. Um, hey, look, a dog. Okay, so... Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the graphics. The graphics are beautiful. This is definitely one of the most visually satisfying Assassin's Creed games. Black Flag was really cool, but a lot of that was just like ocean and uh, island. Oh, my screen just turned off. Um, and because of the excellent graphics, this game also has really cool cutscenes. This is the first Assassin's Creed while I'm playing it. It, the random cutscenes, I enjoy watching. I don't skip them, I watch them and I pay attention to them. Uh, and that's just because of how epic and lifelike they look. The uh, mocap for the faces is really on point. The words move exactly with their mouths and uh, the, like, the texture and uh, look to their faces is pretty epic. So... That's definitely something to enjoy while you play this game. Um, here, I'll go do that assassin's mission over there. Makes my 
Ooh, that was a bad fall. Uh, so that's definitely one of my biggest pluses of this uh, Assassin's Creed game. That it just visually looks amazing. Like you can go and check out the Notre Dame and it's so cool looking. It's very intricate and <laughs> vast and it's, it's captivating. I like it a lot. Um, all right, so I guess one of the last things I want to talk about this game is the my rating for it. Uh, I'm trying to give like a review for every uh, a rating for every review I do out of a 10 point scale, and I would say, oh geez, see that was sort of glitchy and weird, and I just lost a lot of health for it for some reason. Oh, this this man lady again. I am the Chevalier Dayon, um, Master Swordsman. So my rating for this game is bouncing anywhere between... And I haven't played that much of it yet. I haven't progressed in the campaign too much, but I definitely have like a decent understanding how the game works. And uh, I think I would give it anywhere between a 7.5 there are and several an swordsmen who will test your um, actually probably not even an 8 I think it would have to stay at a 7.5 the game is good it's fun it's entertaining but uh, it's so far nothing entirely too special for me um, which is sort of upsetting you know like I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan and I love the ideas behind them but unfortunately this game Hasn't really been up to par quite yet, but I am easily waiting for the end of this game to make sure. Come on. Alright, you're done. Now I'm gonna go get this other guy that... I think it's because I have to land the first strike on this guy. But anyway, um, I like the game a lot, but it is only a 7.5 for me. Mainly because of the glitches that I've hit so far and like the spottiness and the free running and stuff that can get kind of annoying and tedious and the missions can get a little boring as well. Uh, I'm still waiting for like a lot of variety. What the hell? All right, I'm done fighting these guys. That's annoying. But anyway, uh, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it was, it was informative. Uh, and. I hope you guys all have a good one. Comment, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys around.